Hello everyone. Namaste. This is Anika from Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology, India. Thank you for giving me the opportunity for being here. Today, I'm going to discuss with you one of my research studies entitled Analysis of Students' Ratings of Teaching Quality to Understand the Role of Gender and Socioeconomic Diversity in Higher Education. These data show that the gender of students and teachers have statistically significant effects on students' ratings of teacher. And thus, such assessments are not accurate enough to detect actual differences in the quality of teaching. The effect of socioeconomic status is not clear and direct as gender alone, but it still appears to affect the results when students rate their teachers. Because of this, institutions need to be extra cautious when using such rating instruments and basing important decisions on them, since the results are typically biased. In this study, bias varied from one type of engineering to the next, but biases were quite frequent as well as evident. This is the basic outline of this talk. Now let's proceed towards the introduction part. In the field of education, women and low socioeconomic classes have historically been underrepresented. For instance, in Indian educational environments for the academic year 2015-16, less than 30% women were taking programs in engineering and technology discipline. Similarly, only 40% of the teachers in stand-alone technical institutions were female and only an average of 11.6% of teachers came from low socioeconomic status. Even gender differences have also been found in teachers' career progression. Considering these scenarios, various policies and measures are being put in place internationally so that these classes standing equity and success can be raised and they can progress in their careers. Now we'll be seeing small glimpses of various earlier studies performed in these areas. However, my main focus area will be regarding the main findings of these studies. So let's start. Centra and Gobbers in their study found same gender preference with small variations. However, they argued that these may be due to differences in teaching in styles instead of gender bias. In another study, Bettinger and Long revealed a role model effect that is presence of a female instructor positively influenced course selection, major choices for some disciplines. Besso and Silberg in their study found out that female professors were less supported as well as rated lower than their male counterparts by students of both the genders. Feldman conducted two major reviews. His first review that came from social laboratory and experiments revealed no major differences. However, some cases were found where some studies revealed teachers' ratings were influenced by gender typical attributes, whereas in others, they were influenced by gender atypical attributes. In Feldman's second study that came from classroom, some traces were found of preferences for female teachers over male teachers, same gender teachers over opposite gender teachers, gender typical as well as gender atypical behavior. However, due to a small statistical significance, Feldman considered them impractical. Boring, in his five successive years data analysis study, revealed the existence of gender bias. Male teachers were rated higher for so-called male dominating tasks, whereas female teachers scored well in their tasks like time-consuming aspects such as course preparation and organization. 
Price et al. in their analysis conducted on two engineering disciplines found the gender typical behavior of students' ratings but in statistically very small magnitudes. Before proceeding further, other studies also exist that measured the effect on students' ratings of teacher gender and of factors such as physical attractiveness, teaching philosophy or age and found differences in ratings across different educational scenarios. These are present in reference section. Now, let's proceed towards the studies of socio-economic diversity. In order to consider the success and achievements of students of low socio-economic status in Australian higher education, Devlin suggested a joint venture concept for bridging the existing gap of socio-cultural incongruity. In another study, D analyzed 8th grade students through NELS 88 survey data and found that race and ethnicity had consistently large effects, but this was concentrated among students of low socioeconomic status. The study further discussed how to remove these effects by recruiting underrepresented teachers. And now the research gaps. The present study was conducted with two major insights. First, for extending gender-based research across various engineering disciplines as they were found to be limited. Second, exploring student ratings for status bias in higher education for measuring the after effects of the various reservation policies. In India, corresponding to the gender, a skewed distribution of women is still seen in the field of education. Secondly, here, low socioeconomic status classes include classes having low economic status and low social status. Other classes are generally grouped in general category. For raising the standard of living and promoting equity amongst these classes, authorities have taken decisions regarding various reservation policies. The effects of these policies are investigated here in this study through ratings given by students to their teachers in engineering and non-engineering disciplines at a large Indian university. By the end of the six-month semester at the university, students evaluate their faculty on an online student response survey system for every course. The SRS consists of 16 statements on instructors' teaching and practical traits. Students rate the instructor on the Likert type scale of 1 to 5, 1 being strongly disagree and 5 being strongly agree. These SRS parameters can be easily mapped to the well known 23 item CEQ, that is, Course Experience Questionnaire parameters devised by Ramston. After the mapping, there are five scales of SRS, content coverage, assessment skills, motivational and supportive, practical skills, and generic skills. For each aspect, there were a set of questions out of which a sample of each is shown in the table. Now the research questions. There are seven research questions for this study. Let's discuss them one by one. The first research question states that does the gender and socioeconomic diversity of the teaching learning context affect students' ratings across the disciplines on the SRS? Do male and female teachers receive different ratings from their students? Do male and female students give different ratings to their teachers? Do students give different ratings to teachers of same gender as themselves as compared to the other gender? Does a teacher's socioeconomic status affect their ratings from their students? Does a student's socioeconomic status affect how they rate their teachers? And last one, do students rate teachers of the same socioeconomic status class? as themselves differently to the teachers of other classes.
the procedure for this research study included administration of online SRS for five consecutive years, collection of required parameters such as discipline, students and teachers, gender and category. And finally, the students ratings of instructor and teaching quality on courses across the five disciplines were obtained. Here five disciplines represent COE as computer engineering, ELE as electrical engineering, CIE as civil engineering, SOM as school of mathematics, and HSS represents humanities and social sciences. Due to the limited number of records of low socioeconomic status teachers, this study used two separate data sets. The first one included five disciplines for gendered data set. The second one included two disciplines for socioeconomic status data set. For each data set, all possible interactions were computed between the students and teachers, gender, category, discipline, and their other appropriate combinations. This study used IBM's SPSS software for multivariate and univariate general linear models, F-test with Wilkes Lambda in combination for evaluating the multivariate statistics, and partial eta squared for measuring the effect size. The summary of the research findings of this study is shown in the table. Now let's discuss them in detail one by one. For addressing research question one, the pattern of ratings given by the five discipline students varied largely on different SRS scales. For example, in computer engineering and school of mathematics, female teachers were rated more highly than their male counterparts on four SRS scales. Similarly, in civil engineering, female teachers were rated higher than the male teachers on two SRS scales. Whereas in humanities and social sciences, male teachers received higher rating than their female counterparts on four SRS scales. This confirmed existence of gender atypical behavior, that is, students tend to give higher rating to the teachers in discipline that are less typical to their gender as compared to the disciplines that are more typical to their gender. A different scenario was observed for electrical engineering discipline as gender typical behavior was observed where male teachers received higher rating than female teachers on two SRS scales. For answering research question two, yes, different gender teachers received different ratings on the practical skills scale of SRS with female teachers being rated higher than their male counterparts. Practical skills is an aspect of SRS that deals with the application of theoretical knowledge to the practical world and is found to be more male specific. However, higher rating of female teachers in this aspect nullifies earlier notions of the perception of female teachers in more theoretical works and thus support the gender atypical nature. For research question three, female students gave higher ratings than male students on all aspects of SRS across all the disciplines with considerable significance level. So, where female students are underrepresented, if given an opportunity, they are found to be more receptive, perceptive, and appreciative than their male counterparts, which is partially consistent with the previous study. These are the obtained graphs for SRS mean ratings across disciplines by teacher's gender and student's gender and form the basis of made observations. For research question 4, three-way interactions have showed some variations in the practical skills scale of SRS. Same gender bias was found in civil engineering as students gave comparatively higher rating to the same gender teacher. The differential level of understanding and teaching methodology adopted by the teachers involved in a male dominant field of study may be a reason for same gender bias. In computer engineering and school of mathematics, cross gender bias was observed. 
where students gave higher rating to the opposite gender teacher. Cross gender bias may be due to the factors outside the scope of this study such as age, teaching philosophy or physical attractiveness that were found to be relevant in earlier studies. For research question 5, teachers socioeconomic status does not affect their ratings from their students as none of the multivariate and univariate interactions between the effects of discipline and discipline by teachers category were found to be statistically significant. For research question 6, a student category bias was found to exist on four SRS scales where low socioeconomic status students gave higher ratings than the general category students. So, low social economic students were found to be better respondents and appreciators of the new culture as compared to their general category counterparts. For answering research question 7, a same status bias exists where students prefer teachers of same status and rate them higher than other classes on four scales of SRS. The unbiased behavior in practical skills and biased behavior for other four aspects may reveal that students tend to rate a same status teacher higher in parameters unrelated to the teacher's practical knowledge, but rather evaluate the teacher's class behavior, assessments, motivation and general skills based on the direct student-teacher interactions. The same observations can be made from the graphs that represent the mean SRS ratings across disciplines by teacher's category and student's category. And here comes the limitations. The present study was conducted on a single Indian university. Analogous studies from other institutions can be also leveraged upon for comparison and more generalization. This study considered all parameters as independent observations but the parameters in real world scenarios are all related and are of great interest for educators as they reveal relevant information on the learning behavior of their students and the norm followed by the teachers. Due to the anonymization of the data sets used for this study, any correlations between these parameters were not leveraged upon. Also a remark regarding the statistical differences obtained in this study that reveal gender and socioeconomic status biases are only small effects that may have gained statistical significance because of the large sample sizes. And now the conclusion. This study found that according to their gender and socioeconomic status, students tend to give differential ratings to their teachers. This study revealed across the disciplines the existence of gender typical and gender atypical behavior, same gender bias and cross gender bias. Even this study revealed the same status bias across four scales of SRS. For increasing equity amongst the population, some countries have introduced various reservation policies or affirmative action policies to support low socioeconomic students in education. Although in small magnitude, the socioeconomic status bias detected in this study suggests that the authorities must also pay attention towards the biased after effects of these policies. A proactive approach with efficient methodologies and frameworks should be instituted in these initiatives to bridge the socio-economic variance. These student ratings are nowadays being used in important decisions like recruitment, promotion, tenure and rewarding faculty members in various disciplines. The differences in ratings, behavior and biases across various disciplines revealed in this study may be useful in judging the utility of these ratings for such important decisions. With this open thought, I conclude my presentation. Here are the references. 
This is the research publication where all the details related to this study can be found. Here, I will also like to thank my co-authors and guides, Dr. Deepak Garg and Dr. Pratik Bhatia, for their unending support, assistance and guidance in conductance of this study. Thank you.